You know, it was the only holly that you could learn. Okay. It is native. It's not, again, super common here in the mountains, but it's definitely is a ram. Evergreen leaves. You want to maybe go feel them there. They're very thick, almost uh, fake-like. Very spiny. Very, very sharp. I mean, it's hurt you. It's very spiny. There, if it's a female, there's separate male and female trees. If it's a female, they can get these red berries, which makes it your traditional Christmas holly. This is probably a fairly big one. They don't get large. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bigger than this, but that's certainly not a small one. Very, very shade tolerant, meaning you can find them in the understory. A big, you know, hardwood stands with just little hollies underneath. There's many more of these as you go to the coastal plain. Uh, but they're, they're scattered around here. But there's a, this tree. This is another tree that goes back 30 some years. In 1981. I just get on the campus and I'm a TA to one of the TAs. I'm, I'm learning the Dentro lab here, right? Uh, the guy that taught him at that time, he didn't go out. The TAs went out and then he trained new TAs. And so then I would get it out for this. So I don't know the guy very well, and I'm following him around on labs. And he, we're coming just like we came, and he comes up to this tree. And before the students get there, you know, they're coming, how you're always behind a little bit, they're coming. He said to me, is there fruit on this tree? And it looked like this. And I just didn't know him, and I kind of like ignored him. And then he, like two seconds later, he goes, is there fruit on it? Because the students were coming. Oh, like there's fruit all over it. There, look at the. And it, it turns out he's red green colored. <laughs> and, and once you see it, you know he he saw because he sees the shape. But it was just green, and he just saw green. He, he wanted to make sure he was at a tree that had fruit. He wanted to show the class fruit. But at first, I'm like, why would he ask me if there's fruit on it? Because you know it's half fruit, half leaf.